Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. And today we're gonna show you what you need to do if you have oil injection on your two strokes, specifically on these betas here, these cross trainers, they're known for oil injection failures. And today we're gonna show you all the steps that you can take to try and prevent this from happening. So here we got my brand new 2023 Beta Cross Trainer 300 two stroke. It's brand new, got zero hours on it and we're gonna start diving into it and working on this thing and getting this thing ready for the trails. So as I said, this bike does have oil injection but there seems to be some failures happening with these bikes and we're gonna do everything we can today to try and prevent that from happening. So the first thing is we can see we have our nipple here that comes down onto our intake right here. And this line running right up here, this tube, this is our oil injection tube that goes straight into our intake here after the carburetor before it goes into the engine. Now, one of the first things we're gonna wanna do is make sure we put a zip tie on the end of this nipple so that this tube can't come sliding off. So that's the first thing we're gonna do today. So now looking at the oil injection line that we just zip tied up, if we follow this guy back, we look here, we can see there's a bunch of excess line hanging out and it's actually rubbing up against that rear shock already. Now, if that rear shock were to rub through that oil injection line, your engine is donezo. So let's go ahead and we're gonna show you how you can pull the slack from there so there's no more rub up against the shock. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pulling off the air panel here. So it's just got a pull tab down at the bottom. We got a pull tab up at the top. And then this guy comes right up and off. And in here we have the oil injection pump and here's our ECU, which we're also gonna be taking a look at in a second. So the next thing is we need to remove our air filter so we can get access to the rest of the oil injection system. So we're gonna pop the bottom tab here. It's just a pull tab. And then we got one more pull tab up in the top that we're gonna pull down from here. We're gonna stick our fingers in and we're just gonna pull down on that and that guy comes right out. So now when we follow this oil injection line up, over, around, down by the shock, comes down into here and then it wraps around and it comes out through the air box right here, slides up here, and then we got it going up into the bottom of the oil injection pump right there. And we need to pull the slack up into the air box so it's no longer rubbing up against the rear of the suspension. So we're just gonna reach in here and we're gonna pull this guy up and we're gonna pull it up out of the little grooves that it's in down there. So now it's kind of free and we're gonna just pull. Give this a couple pulls and we're gonna just slide the tube up and now we got a whole bunch of excess here. We should be able to come back Look at the shock. We're gonna pull back this little bit of excess here as well. I'm gonna feed that backwards in through because you just don't need all that excess. We're gonna push this down and over like so. We're gonna pull whatever excess we can up towards the air box here. And that's gonna shove it back out this hole. We're gonna pull as much of that excess as we can up in here. Now you can see we got a good couple inches of extra slack that we just didn't need otherwise. Then we're gonna shove it down through here and now you can see we got all the extra up in the air box just like so. Now when we look at that oil injection line, you can see it is nowhere near that rear suspension and we're not gonna rub through the oil injection line which will kill your motor. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is you can see back in here we have our oil injection pump and here we have our two different plugs and we're gonna wanna head and just take these and disconnect them for right now. So we're gonna come and start by disconnecting the battery. So we just got a button pushed here to remove our seat, pull this guy up and off. And then here we got access to our battery. So here we've got our lithium ion battery. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just disconnect our ground off of it. We're gonna get in here and there's a little tiny pull tab on the bottom of this one. So we're gonna just pull plugs disconnected. Now it's important that we dielectric grease the inside of these connections so we don't have any faults or any shorts. So here are the two products we're gonna be using today. We got some ACF 50 and we have some Permatex dielectric grease. So the ATF 50, this is an anti-corrosion formula spray that's good for your electrical components to help from corroding. And then we're gonna apply some dielectric grease to help prevent any water from actually getting into the connections. We're gonna take our plug. And we're just gonna take a little bit of ACF 50. Give that a spray, give that a spritz. Then we're just gonna take a little rag and we're just gonna pat and just get rid of some of that excess. We're gonna put just a dab. And just like that, now we've got grease applied to those connections and some ACF 50, so it shouldn't corrode and we should prevent any water from getting in there. Now next here we have our ECU up top. Now this seems to be where the oil injection fails the most. So we're gonna need to go ahead, we need to slide this guy up off its mount. It's just kind of got a rubber boot here. So now this guy slid off, we got access to our ECU here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna disconnect this guy. So here we can see that the uh, for the 2023s, Beta's already gone over and started, uh, whether it's a dealer that's doing it, but they've started to dielectric grease the connections here on the actual ECU as these, as these pins in here, that I believe it's a bottom to left third most pin 
uh, is what ends up corroding inside this ECU. And when the cr pin corrodes on the ECU, your oil injection stops working. We're gonna hit this with some ACF 50 because I had an anti-corrosion inhibitor. So we're gonna apply some of that to this and then we're gonna plug it back in. But it's good to see that on the 2023, it is coming with uh, with the plug already having some dielectric grease in it as this is the, the main cause issue with the oil injection systems on the beta. So here's our ACF 50. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess. All right, now we got our dielectric grease down on the pins there. We're gonna take our connector. We're gonna plug this bad boy back in. Make sure you hear that little click snap. Now you know it's all together in one piece again. Now we need to go ahead and we need to slide that back up onto its holder. So now we've got our anti-corrosion formula on that. We've got it on the pump down here. And there's one last thing we need to check to make sure that our oil injection doesn't, doesn't fail just prematurely for no reason. Boom, okay, now just like that, we got the tank removed, all the plastics removed, and I'm a doofus. So the last thing I was trying to show you guys is on 22 and older beta cross trainers, the frame ground is put right here on the top of the shock tower. Now, as you guys can see, it's painted. So they'd put the ground onto painted frame and you'd have a horrible ground connection and it would cause your uh, oil pump to stop working. Well, it looks like for 2023, after a whole lot of looking around and talking on the forums and talking with the boys, they've actually moved the ground onto the engine. So now it's here by the sides of the reeds. So that's a game changer. They've actually got it now where the, the ground is to the engine, where it's on just bare metal instead of being up here on the painted frame. So now with all the steps I've shown you today, there's one last thing I forgot to mention that I just wanna show you. Now it looks like for 2023, so inside of our air box here, we have the bottom of the oil injection pump right here. And you see there's already from factory a zip tie on the tube that goes to it. Now, if there wasn't one like on the older bikes, you wanna make sure you put in a zip tie up in there. Now with all those tips I've given you today, that should help you prevent your oil injection from failing. Now in the next video coming up, we're gonna show you how to delete the oil injection in your bike as I will be deleting oil injection on my bike. But I did wanna show you guys the things that you could do to help with preventative maintenance of your oil injection failing as I'm gonna run it for the first tank of gas to run the premix that's in the stock tank that comes from the dealership. We're gonna burn that off and then once that's burned off, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys how to delete the oil injection. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below, click like, click subscribe for more. We got a whole lot more beta content coming for you guys. So be excited. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.